Hey everybody, I'm Allison from Puget Sound Garden Life and today I'm going to be reviewing the Berg Rock Home Collapsible Yard Waste Container. I'm so excited, I've been wanting a product like this for a while, so I'm really excited that it's here and I can't wait to jump in and unbox it and show you what it looks like. So right away it's already in its collapsed state. It's supposed to be around four inches in height when it's collapsed. I'm already loving this hard bottom. That'll be great for dragging around my gravel paths. Let's open it up. You can see that that spring just really worked fabulous. I can tell it's a really heavy duty wire in there and it just popped that bottom right out from underneath. I'm gonna start out by reviewing some of the main features of this collapsible yard waste bag, and then I'm gonna take it out for a test drive in my garden and clean up a bunch of yard debris that are sitting in piles. So what I'm really excited about and the reason why I bought this product versus other popular brands is that it comes with a shoulder carrying strap. And my yard, I have a terraced backyard where all of my garden beds are, and I have to walk up and down stone steps. So I'm really looking forward to have this strap. So I'm gonna get it attached. So next to the buckle clips, there are these strap attachment pieces. There are also handles, so you could just carry the product, the bag, with these handles as well. And then there's a lower handle here in case you wanna do any uh, dumping, it'll make that really easy. But I'm so excited about this, so I'm gonna get it attached. This is gonna be awesome for carrying this up and down my stairs and I can't wait to test it out. Another feature that I'm really excited about is the hard plastic bottom. My, a lot of my pathways where I garden from are gravel and this will be great for scooting along that gravel. It also has drainage holes on the bottom so if you have anything that's wet or more likely my case if you leave it out and it rains it'll just empty itself out instead of the water collecting in the bottom so that's an important feature for me because i have a bad habit of leaving a lot of my yard waste and tools and supplies out in the garden the fabric seems really durable inside it is coated a little bit and the springs are super firm uh, that you can hear when I crinkle that you can just think of how durable this fabric is. Let's hope that once I've put it to the test and have been using it in my yard for a while that it still seems that durable to me. Another feature that it has is this closing top. So if you get it really full um, and you need some extra space which Looking at it right now, uh, I'm glad that it has this feature because uh, just having the size right there looks like it could be a little bit smaller and I could fill that up pretty quick. So opening this up allows you more space and then you can also tie it in so that if you are carrying it up and down stairs, uh, you're not going to be dropping out all your debris that you just worked so hard to clean up. Another great purpose of this top like this is that you can use this product for something other than yard and garden. You can use it for putting sporting goods in. If you're taking your kids to the park, you can just fill it right up and use that drawstring top. Again, it's got that strap, so it'll be really easy to carry it. Say if you're like going to the beach and you've got sand toys or something like that, um, it'd be great for that camping we're going to be doing some camping this weekend and i can just see i don't know what i would put in there but i'm sure it would be helpful so it's cool that it's so multi-purpose that not only will it help me in my yard i can also use it for a lot of other things let's talk about the dimensions and the weight so this is 3.5 pounds which is important to keep the weight in mind especially because you're going to be filling it with even more things and not everybody has a hand truck to be pulling this around on some of us have to carry it and so um 
that is a little bit lighter than other products that I've seen. It's not the lightest, but I'm excited because the durability of this fabric does make the fabric a little bit heavier, and that plastic bottom also makes it a little heavier, but those are worth it to me. So this is a 30 gallon size. You could even load it with a plastic garbage can and use this as a garbage when you're camping or if you are doing some sort of event, uh, it would be a really easy portable garbage can. It is 25.2 inches tall to this. Uh, and I'm guessing the flap up here can add you probably about maybe six to 12 extra inches of storage in there. The diameter is 18.9 inches. So it's really a handy size. And when it's collapsed, it should be four inches. So speaking of collapsing, I'm just gonna collapse it on screen right now so you can see and I can see how easy it is to get it collapsed back down using these buckles. All right, so that was pretty slick. Um, if it's all wet and dirty, you, uh, you're gonna wanna hold it against your body. It might get your clothes dirty, but you could also put it down on the ground and collapse it that way. Uh, so very easy to collapse and you can kind of just tuck it in nicely so that you can store it in your garage or your potting bench or wherever you wanna store it. So far, I'm really impressed. But what I'm really excited for is going to clean up all the yard waste in my yard right now. I don't have a ton because most of my stuff is still growing and looking great and I haven't cut back a lot of things, but I have cut back some things down in the veggie garden and I need to go clean up all those piles so they're not attracting pests. So now let's go take it to work. from my cottage garden and now I'm going to be grabbing this bag using that handy shoulder strap and going down my stairs to my terrace vegetable garden. So this stairway is really tough. Uh, normally I just do my yard waste in five gallon buckets because I have to walk up and down these stairs um, and so we've got behind me one of my vegetable gardens and then sorry for swinging me around over there another one and down some more stairs I've got a great pathway below each of those so I can tend to them and there's some few things growing down there on those but you can see uh, this property is really tough to move things around so like wagons or yard carts or even our yard waste container or a plastic garbage can uh, is a lot of work to get from up there all the way down to here. This last terrace before our fence is just kind of like an uneven gravel, uneven gravel walkway. And so, so excited for this because working out of five gallon buckets just wasn't cutting it. sun's coming out and I don't have a hat on so I'm gonna carry these up the stairs and gosh this thing's great it's really awesome I think if it were any bigger it might be too heavy uh, just because I don't want to overexert myself not that it wouldn't be possible but uh, it's great now I'm gonna dump it into my yard waste can so that's all the way up here here's my kids playhouse and this is the yard waste can that we keep everything in and we have a local municipal yard waste service that comes out and gets this stuff and uh, compost it. All right, so here's the final destination for this bag of yard waste right here in my yard waste container. So let's see how easy it is to dump it out. I didn't mention earlier that you should pull down these extra flaps over the edge of the container when you're filling it up 
then it makes it really easy to just pull it back over it when you're ready to close it. So there is an upper handle and a lower handle, so you can just pick it up and dump it in, hopefully fairly easily. Everything came out pretty easily. Most of the stuff that I loaded in here was really soft, like large Brussels sprout leaves, tomato trimmings, uh, things like that that are really flexible. However, I did have um, some tomatillo branches and those were sitting out for a few days and got pretty hard and solid. And so even stuffing those in here was super easy to stuff them in. I wasn't too worried about ruining the material and they came out pretty easily as well. So overall, I'd say this is a great product and I look forward to using it more at my home. I hope this information was helpful for you and makes you think about trying out this product because I think it's pretty handy. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, it would really help my channel grow if you could give it a like or if you would subscribe to my channel if you're interested in learning more about gardening and gardening in the Puget Sound region. Have a great day.